right, 6.1, uh, part 1, examples. And this is using properties of exponents. So we're going to take a look at this example here and try out using some of the properties of these exponents. So let's try out that color. There we go. Uh, basically, here's what we're going to do. Um, this is like saying x to the first power, and this is like saying y to the first power. And it's also like saying it's 1 times that on top. So first multiply the numbers, 1 times 2, and we get 2 on top, okay? x to the first power and x to the third power. Well, here's what you do with uh, exponents like that. Since there's no parentheses, you just add them together. So you end up getting x to the third. There is no more y's on top, so we have a y to the first power. On the bottom, I have a 4, and I have a y to the third, okay? So still looking at the numbers, take a look here. We got a 2 and a 4, so that can simplify to 1 half. I have no x's on the bottom, so this is just an x cubed, right? But this right here, what do you do with division? I have y to the first and y to the third. Well, whenever you have division, you subtract it, so it's 1 minus 3. And 1 minus 3 is y um, to the negative 2 which means I have y to the negative 2. Well, you can't have a negative exponent, which means I need to move that to the bottom. So your final answer is you have 1x cubed on top, you have a 2 on the bottom, and you have a y squared on the bottom. So there is your answer. Um, this negative thing gets kids confused sometimes. So Another little trick that I've been telling kids are from the first step. Um, this is back before we simplified. Okay, so right before we simplified, this is what we had. Okay, um, you agree still with the numbers? They simplify to a half, and you also agree that x cubed is on the top. Okay, no problem. But these, here's what you do: a little rule of thumb. Whichever exponent is larger is where the answer is going to go when you divide. So which one's bigger? The cubed or the 1? Well, cubed is bigger, right? That's a 3. So when you subtract these, 1 minus 3, you end up getting negative 2. So just put the y squared on the bottom. It's basically telling you where you're putting your exponent. And we'll just say that it goes on the bottom because the exponent on the bottom is bigger which means that is your answer. So that's another way to think about that. Okay, so a problem like this, just multiply across, and remember that's like saying 1, that's like saying a power of 1, that's like saying a power of 1, so 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Um, x squared and x to the negative 1, add those together. 2 plus negative 1 is x to the first power. y to the first and y to the first is y squared. So that's what's on top. Over 8, because there is no other number down there, x cubed and y to the first. Okay, so I can take a 2 out of both of those. So I end up with a negative 5 on top, and I end up with a 4 on the bottom. X's, which one's bigger? Well, the bottom is, so I know my x's are going to go on the bottom, right? 1 minus 3 is negative 2, so it is a positive 2 on the bottom. Look at the y's. Which one's bigger? This 2 is bigger, the exponent. So when you subtract those, 2 minus 1, you end up getting 1. So it's just a 1y on top. And there is your answer. Okay, let's take a look at another. Uh, now because of parentheses, we have to do those first. So I take that through. So that's 2 cubed. And that is, because of parentheses, that is x to the 6th over 5 uh, times 15 x to the negative 2 over 2x cubed. And 2 cubed, we know what 2 cubed is, right? 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So really, this is what we have. So I can go straight across, right? And when I do that, um, 8 times 15, we end up getting 120. So I get 120. x to the 6th and x to the negative 2, I add them to get x to the 4th. On the bottom, 5 times 2 is 10. And I have an 
x to the third. So basically I can divide a 10 out of both of those. So I realize I have a 12 on top. And when I subtract, which exponent is bigger? Well, that means the exponent is on top because the 4 is bigger. 4 minus 3 is 1. So really, this is what you end up having, which we can just rewrite as 12x as our answer. Um, with this, I take this through to everything. So there's the top, so that's x to the negative 6. That's y to the negative 4th over, to take that through to the bottom as well, so that's 2 to the negative 4th, and that is x to the negative, um, let's see what, negative 8. So this is what I normally do. Get rid of all the exponents first. Remember, wherever there's a negative exponent, you just flip it. So this is really what we have. I On the top, that's negative, I have to move that to the bottom, so that's x to the 6. This is negative, so I have to move it to the bottom, so that's y to the 4th. This 2, that's negative, so we got to move that up top, because wherever it is, you move it to the opposite, right? That is negative, so I have to move that on top. So, 2 to the 4th is like saying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16, so really you have 16x to the 8th over x to the 6th, y to the 4th. Um, 8 minus 6, we end up getting squared, 16x squared, um, because the, the 8 is bigger, so it goes on top, and 8 minus 6 is 2, and y to the 4th is on the bottom. And there is your answer. Okay, um, we'll finish up when we come back um, on some more. Uh, I just figure the more examples you see, the more likely you understand how you're supposed to use these um, power rules with these um, properties of exponents. So, alrighty, talk to you in a bit.